right? On this one, oh, this one's actually good because the first term and the third term there, they're not perfect squares. But we can see that all three of these are even, so we can at least factor out a 2 from each of the three terms. So I've got 2, I've got an x squared plus 14x plus um, 49, I think. Now, again, if you can memorize all that stuff, uh, you can use the formula for that because our first term is a perfect square and the third term is also a perfect square. But since I'm stressing this factoring by grouping stuff, that's what I'm going to do. So I got x squared and the 49. We just need to figure out what we're going to split that 14 up into. And yes, some of you see that we don't have a coefficient of x squared anymore, so you could just split it up if you wanted to. Uh, meaning we don't necessarily have to factor by grouping here. So 49 would split up into 7 and 7, or 1 and 49. That one's no good because it adds up to a huge number comparatively. If I add these two to, uh, uh, together, then I get a positive 14, which is what we wanted. So I've got x squared plus 7x plus 7x, plus the 49, I just split up that 14x. Um, let me get rid of this garbage, just for the space. So now I'm going to split these up. So, got the first set there, I'm going to factor out an x, which gives me x plus 7. And then we'll add that to... By factoring out the second set, I can factor out a 7, which leaves me with x plus 7. And from these two, I can factor out an x plus 7. So I got x plus 7. And what did I have left over? Well, I got that blue x and then the positive 7. And that, that would be the end of the parentheses there. But notice we're multiplying something by itself. So technically, to simplify this, we would put the x plus 7 <coughs> squared. If we forgot to do it. All right, well, looking back here, if we look at that purple term, uh, some of you guys saw that, well, 49 would split up into 7 and 7. And so you may have skipped a lot of that stuff to get to this point. On the other hand, if we look at that, we see that A would be X and the B is 7. So you could have just said, well, I'm going to take 2. I'm going to square this action with the plus sign between the A is X and the B is 7. And you called it good, and that's okay too. So the purple term was X squared plus 14X plus 49. And I made the A X, right? So I had X, that's squared plus 2 times a, which is going to be x. And the 49 is 7 squared. I'll put that in parentheses. So if we multiply that by 7, then we get x squared plus 14x plus 49. But since that just helps us identify what the a and the b are in the formula, because if we go back ourselves some space. It's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equals a plus b squared. So in this in this problem we just simply replace the a which is x with x and the b which is 7 with 7 right there. Now that's that's only in that red box in the black box, that was factoring by grouping, which is still okay. It is a little time-consuming, though.